Hey what's up guys Ankur here I was thinking what should be the next video for our channel and thought about reviewing some analytics of the channel and found that you guys have shown a lot of interest for AR core and especially AR core depth API so here I am back with a new video bringing you AR core depth API so let's get started so if you have not watched our AR core video yet you can just hit the button on top right of your video and just see the video and then you can you know have a better understanding of what depth api is so let's start with an example here of what augmented reality world is and how ar core works in the augmented reality so the example let's say uh, pokemon go right it was a pretty good app uh, way back in 2016 it still works but augmented reality isn't just having an object or a virtual object placed in the real world environment right it has to have some features like objects and how it interacts with the surroundings because if you just have a uh, interactive virtual object in your real environment and it couldn't interact it just floats around it won't have a better immersive and interactive experience right so the depth api is part of ar core it uses a depth api supported devices rgb camera to create depth maps so by depth maps it's like it creates a whole virtual world uh, of its own inside the mobile device so that it could understand where the object is in relatives to the objects in its surrounding in short it creates its own virtual world so that it understands the distance between object whether the object should be in front of it or back of it one example I'm taking from Google's AR code library is you see uh, on your uh, video the Android object is there and it's the first one is it's just there in the real place and it unrealistically overlaps with the edge it should be properly placed behind the wooden door and depth api helps you use the schematics uh, in the virtual world and place the android device or the android object behind the door one important aspect of ar core is it creates depth maps so the depth api uses a depth from motion algorithm to create depth maps which you can obtain using a quad depth image function inside that programmers would understand that so this algorithm takes multiple device images from different angles and compares them to estimate the distance to every pixels as a user moves their phone if the device has a active depth sensor such as a time of flight sensor or tof sensor the data is automatically included in the processing depth now this enhances the existing depth map and enables depth even when the camera is not moving it also provides better depth on surfaces with few or no features such as white walls or in dynamic scenes with moving people or objects now i'll just pour some examples on top so like i said it creates a virtual world now there's a lot of mathematics and calculation with various angles and pixel comparison obviously it uses rgb comparison but if your phone has a tof or a depth sensor it utilizes that aspect of processing and creating its own virtual world so this was depth api on a high level uh, there is a particular format of a depth map there is a requirement of motion uh, depth api uses motion tracking using the active depth sensor if it's present on your phone otherwise it uses rgb now it has a variable distance and angles from the environment so that it can calculate and estimate the amount of depth it needs now it has a nice accuracy for the depth it has like around uh, 0 to 8 meters are pretty good accurate but there's the optimal accuracy depth that is 0 0.5 meters to 5 meters it's quite good but in the absence of depth sensor like i said like only rgb information is used to perform the depth estimation task obviously it's not that great and precise but it's still doable now i'll just post a graph for an understanding of depth values of your camera center to your depth image to your access points i'll just post a note over there it's a tricky maths calculation i just don't want to go into right now as the video will get complicated i just want to keep it as simple as possible but yeah i mean this is a quick start i mean we can get into depth api for android quick start or developer guide if you guys want this is it guys let me know how the video is do comment down below do subscribe to the channel and do hit the like button if you like the video thank you guys see you again bye